Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Amanda and I post motherhood and lifestyle content three days a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so today in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a tour of my new revamped little office space here. So I'm going to sh share with you where everything is from and just walk you through kind of how I designed it. So if that is something that you're excited to see, keep on watching, give this video a thumbs up, and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on a video. I've got so much good content coming up that hopefully will bring you a lot of value in this new year. So let's just jump right into the video. You had me at a low. Okay, so this might be kind of obvious by the fact that you can sort of see part of this piece of furniture here. This is my dresser, meaning that this area is my little workspace and it is in our master bedroom. So we have a very large master bedroom, which actually worked out perfectly for the fact that um, our house doesn't have any type of office or anything like that. And um, I just needed like a little space where I could have a desk and have my computer so I can edit and I can work on stuff. And so that is what I created here. So um, obviously that side of the room, our bed and everything is over there. And then there just happens to be this little like nook area in our master bedroom. So it really worked out perfectly for me to have my little workspace. So basically to start, obviously I have my iMac here. Um, this is like my baby <laughs> that I get like all of my work done, um, editing, all that kind of stuff on my computer. I love this thing. I got it for my birthday this past year and it has been such a lifesaver to have like a really nice big computer to work on. And then got my keyboard, my little trackpad here, my little mouse. Um, and then my studio monitors. So for those of you who don't know, I am a musician and a songwriter, singer, all that kind of stuff. I've had these studio monitors for a long time. They are KRK Rocket 5s. Um, and this is like kind of an older model actually because I've had them for a while. So they've got new and updated versions of them, but they're really nice speakers, studio monitors, which actually just is perfect because I can, you know, just have good sound and not have to listen to everything through my computer speakers. So this is like an audio like interface type of thing that makes these speakers like talk to the computer. It makes it all work. Um, and I've just got some little um, like styrofoam, I don't even know what you call them, like some kind of studio thing, like a little platform that raises the speakers up and tilts them at a nice angle so that when I'm sitting here in my chair, it's all coming at me in the right, uh, I don't know, direction, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, so that is just kind of like the main stuff here. I really love like the vibe, how everything sort of came together. Um, I'm gonna show you my bookshelves over here. They turned out so cute. Um, but anyway, next on my desk, I've just got a candle. This is like a Tyler, what is it? Tyler Candle Company candle. I actually got this in a gift exchange um, over Christmas, so I just put that there. Then I here I've just got sitting on my desk. I've got a pen. Um, I do need to get some type of like organizer thing that I can like almost like a with drawers and stuff like that that can go under there to have a place to put pens and like files and all that kind of stuff. But for now, um, I've got that stuff stored away in a different spot. Sitting on my desk, I have my 2020 uh, planner. And I am just now, like I know kind of behind the train, but just now sort of getting into the whole planner thing. I really love lists and things and I love seeing it written out on paper. So I think I'm really gonna enjoy this. I picked this up at Target. Um, and I will link as much of this stuff as I can in the description, but I did get this at Target. I think it was like $12. It's just like month to month kind of set up. It's got a place for notes on the side. It's nothing crazy like an Erin Condren planner or anything like that, but it will be really functional and I've already really enjoyed this. I love the blush pink and the gold. And then next, I just got this at Home Goods. It is just a little notebook with like blush. I love the like mauvey blush and then the lighter blush pink color. It's got like a rose gold um, binding here and it's just notes. 
So in here, I'm like using this for basically for my to-do lists, for um, just planning for videos or things I need, like lists I need to make for like items I need to get for a video coming up, like whatever it is. This is just sort of where I plan things out. So I got this at Home Goods. It was $5.99. They always have really cute little notebooks at Home Goods. And then, let's see. Okay. Then, oh, next. I am so obsessed with these little coasters. These. This is like a nude color and then this is like a more of a mauvey blush. These are just cute little coasters. And these are from an Etsy shop. I will link the shop below because I don't remember the exact name, but I got these this idea from um, Tara Henderson here on YouTube, her office tour. I saw that she had these really cute coasters and I was like was so obsessed with them. So I copied her and got some of these coasters as well. And that is basically it for what is on my actual desktop. All right, so moving on is this adorable desk chair that I just got around Christmas and my throw blanket that I have around the back. This blanket is absolutely life-changing. It is the Leopard Barefoot Dreams blanket, and I have literally wanted this blanket for like 10 years, literally since the Kardashians always use this blanket on their show. I was obsessed with it and really, really wanted it, but it is a pricier blanket. And so I never purchased it for myself. I did just get this for Christmas and it actually is a life-changing blanket. I now understand why it's so expensive. It's just the absolute softest blanket and it's the perfect weight. Like, it keeps you cozy and warm, but it's like not gonna make you sweat. It's like, I don't even know how they like, I don't know, mastered that combination of just being so cozy, but not too warm, uh, but they did. And so they have lots of different prints and colors of these blankets, but I love this like leopard. I'm so obsessed. And so I was really excited to get this for Christmas. And then my chair here, it's this really beautiful, tufted like upholstered chair and it's like a very dusty rose color and I just thought that it's like girly and cute and it goes perfectly with my like vibe in here but um it's also very functional so it's very comfortable um so when I sit here and I edit it's super comfy it doesn't go up super high but it's a very comfortable office chair so I needed something like I saw so many really cute like rattan chairs and stuff that I really liked, but I just wanted it to be very functional and comfortable since I sit here for like hours at a time when I'm working on stuff. So I just love the detailing of this inside chair and the bottom of it is gold. It is so cute, it's got wheels and so it like rolls around and I just keep this kind of like thrown over the back of it. And leopard, it's kind of funny because this doesn't really like actually match the style of like what I was going for in here. But I threw it over the back and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I actually like how it looks. Like it's just really cute and kind of mixed match and cool. And I always sit here with a blanket on me when I'm editing. I just like wrap myself up because I'm always cold. So it's just nice to have a little throw blanket. All right. So moving on to my little bookshelf over here. Um, this shelf is actually from Ikea. I've had it for a while. Um, it's gone through all of the moves with us since we got married. Um, and this was mine in my little studio room that I had at our first house. And then we've just moved it along with us. And um, I thought about painting it like white or gold, but then I left it and actually I'm really happy that it's just dark and just the way that it came. Sometimes when you get into like the spray painting and DIYs, things chip off and it just becomes like a mess and kind of a pain. So sometimes I just like to leave things the way that they come. Although I know you can seal it and that helps with the chipping of spray painting stuff, but sometimes it's just nice to have it the way that it comes. So I actually am like pleased with how this ended up looking. So up top, I've got just a little stack of books. I love styling shelves, styling like bookshelves, like, um, I don't know, cabinets, like all kinds of things like that. I just think it's fun to pick out the little accessories for it. I've got some books stacked here, just girly books, Jesse James Decker's Just Jesse book, Lauren Conrad's style book. Um, this is like a home book. It's called The Nesting Place. Then I've got Rachel Zoe's book, Style A to Zoe. 
an old book, but I used to love her show and love her. And then on the bottom here, we have Jessica Simpson's I Do book, I Do Achieving Your Dream Wedding, which is so funny because um, it's like when she was marrying Nick Lachey, and that's so forever ago. But I, I was like the ultimate Jessica Simpson newlyweds fan. Like I loved the show, I loved her, and I remember getting that book, begging my parents at Barnes and Noble when I was like really young, like a young teenager, to buy me that book, and they did. And I've just always had it. It's a really beautiful coffee table book. So even though they are no longer married and all of that. I still just think it's a really pretty book and I, I couldn't get rid of it because I just love Jessica Simpson, which by the way, I cannot wait for her new book to come out in February. I can't wait to read that, but all right. The next shelf, I just have some very neutral books here. Um, a lot, I have tons of books. I love to read. I've got lots and lots of books. I have a bunch stored away. Um, they're not all on here, but there was a lot of books that I didn't really care about anymore that just had bright, um, you know, jackets around the actual hardcover book. And so I ripped all of those off. And the ones that were, that the books that were solid white and solid black are the ones that I put out here. So it's just black and white books. And that's kind of a way that you can repurpose like books that you're not going to read anymore, or that you're kind of over it. Just take the cover off of them and they become like a really neutral book. And it's nice for stacking things and for styling shelves and stuff like that. So that's what I've got here. And then I have these, this really pretty um, gold vase. This is from Target. It's the Project 62 line. Oh, I also didn't tell you on top of these books up here, I have one of the, I have this cactus and Stephen got me this and this is like the ultimate best plant if you can't keep plants alive. So all of my plants always die and this is called a fairy castle cactus. It's from Trader Joe's and they're very affordable and I think I've watered this thing twice and I've had it for like six or seven months and sometimes I'll put it outside to get some sun but it is absolutely the most low maintenance plant I have ever owned and I love it so that's up there and then wrapped around it is a deer antler that a deer antler shed that we have we'd had for a while that um, is spray painted gold so um, anyways that's there okay and then as I said back to this middle shelf um, I have this really pretty small gold vase that I love just for styling and then down on the next shelf I have a bigger version of this gold vase. It's also Project 62 from Target. Um, I got both of these for Christmas and I love them. Um, so yeah, that's the bigger one. And then next to it I have Shania Twain's book, Steven Tyler's book, and Neil Young, Young's book. And then also another Deer Antler Shed that is also painted gold. And then on the very bottom shelf here, I just have this little wooden um, sign that says love my tribe. My stepmom actually made that for me at like one of those painting places and it's blush pink and natural wood and black and it's just like totally my vibe and I do love my tribe. I love just my family so much. So sweet of her. So that's down there and then I've got some other books like Girl Wash Your Face, YouTube Secrets, Crush It, um, Tailor Made which is a Christian book and then I've got Think and Grow Rich. Um, another Christian book, a Louis Vuitton book, and also my Duck Commander book that's signed by Willie Robertson to me um, whenever I wrote uh, the Duck Dynasty song and then I wrote like 13 songs for Duck Dynasty um, with Annie. That was, was at that time I met Willie and he signed that book for me. So it's kind of special. So that one sits here. I have a bunch of other copies of that, but that's the one specifically to me. And then the last thing on my shelves is this big giant bowl up here. This is so big, you can't even imagine. It's just this beautiful brass bowl. Um, this is from Target, it's also the Project 62 line. And I love it because like without it, it's kind of plain, but I love the big pop of gold and really I needed something really like large to just fill the space. So it turned out really cute. Okay, so moving on is this massive piece of art here. It's like a cactus print. It's got a beautiful gold frame. It's sort of a nude, blush, peachy kind of background up there in the sky. And this piece of art is from World Market. I got it back in November and I got it really 
on sale. Um, I think I got it for like $70 and I want to say it's originally $129, but they do sales. They have different 15 and 20% off coupons periodically. So if you want this piece of art, I would just like, you know, wait around for a coupon or for a sale. Um, but I just love it. It's really big. And so it fills the wall nicely. There's still above this. You can't see, but there's still a good amount of ceiling left. We have decently high ceilings and so um, it was just nice to have something really big to fill the space. And so anyways, I love that and that was like the first thing I really got besides having my computer and my desk. Uh, I don't think I said this by the way, this desk is from Ikea and it's extremely inexpensive. Um, but also with that, it's a little shaky which kind of drives me nuts but it is fine. It's just a plain white like lacquered desk. Um, at Ikea you buy the legs separately and then you buy the tabletop that you want so you can get the size and all of that that you want. So anyways, that's where that's from. But I just sort of had the basic stuff and I had the shelf, but they weren't really, st it wasn't like the shelves weren't styled. And so when I got this piece of art, it sort of started me on like, okay, how do I want this like vibe to be in here? And just getting my chair and getting it feeling a little bit nicer and cozier. You know, your workspace and your desk space in my opinion is like so important to get it sort of decorated because if you're just sitting in like a blank room I feel like that's just so uninspiring and there's something about really loving the atmosphere that you're in that sort of at least makes me feel more productive and wanting to like spend time in that space so I feel like for this new year, if your workspace is something you don't like love, I would just spruce it up a little bit. Go to Home Goods, go to places where you can find affordable things, and you can make some like subtle adjustments that will really just spruce up your space and I feel like make you enjoy it a lot more. And so that is what I did, sort of like new year, new workspace, and it just is like getting me excited to just come in here and sit down and really be productive and get a lot done. So I think there's a lot to be said for really loving your environment and your space that you work in. And then moving over here, this up on the wall is one of my nice guitars. This is like my nicest guitar. I have four Breedlove guitars. They are my favorite guitars. I've been endorsed by them since I was like 17 years old and one of their artists. And so along the way, I got to do a lot of really cool things with Breedlove and go on some cool trips and seeing the factory and things like that. So I had one guitar that I got as a graduation gift um, from my parents and that was a Breedlove and that was my first one and then my first Breedlove, not first guitar. And then I got, and then Breedlove as a company, they gave me two other guitars. Um, so I've got those. Those are just in cases right now because I don't have a, sp a space for them. Um, but I do play them and use them. Brody loves to like sit and play with me and Steven plays one too. And then this one is a custom guitar that they built for me. So I designed this guitar fully custom, um, every aspect of it. So we chose the wood based on what sounded really good with my voice. I chose these specific pieces of wood. So I saw pictures of the raw wood, the top and the back and the sides. And I chose all of that specifically based on how the grain looked and what I really loved. And so I chose that. I chose like that I wanted a cutaway. Um, my name is here on the fretboard in a pretty font that I also chose. Um, the um, fret markers are actually like they're pearl, but I like requested them to be like the more pink <laughs> versions of the pearl. So they specifically chose pieces of the pearl that looked more pink. Um, they also shaved down the neck a little bit to fit my hand better. Um, there was just all kinds of really custom details about this guitar that they made for me and it was just so special. Um, they did tell me at the time this was one of the most custom guitars they had ever made for an artist. So it's just really, really special. Um, and so we hung that up here. This is still the guitar I like write on and play on like every day all the time and so this is why I like wanted it out of the case up on my wall or on you know if you play guitar I would say it's best to have it like on your wall or on a stand or something so that you can just 
grab it and play for a minute and then set it back down you know throughout the day whereas if it's locked away in a case in a closet the chances of you going and pulling it out and going through all of that uh, are probably slim so I play a lot more when I have it out now I did have to hang this a little bit higher than I would have actually chosen to hang it because Brody and Addison come in here and they are all up in all of my stuff here and I just thought you know I do not want them to be like hitting at it and it hitting the wall or anything like that so we hung it up a little bit higher so that it wouldn't get messed with um, but I just love having that up here it's just so special and I'm obsessed with that guitar and then next over here is my ring light. Um, it just kind of stays here because I don't really have a place to store it other than if I broke it down and put it in its case, then I could put it in a closet. But I use it all the time for filming. So it's best just to have it out so that I can just easily get it. Because I'm filming, like I said, I post three videos a week. So I'm always filming, doing lots of stuff. And so it's just easiest for me to have it out. So that just kind of stays there. I had to tilt the camera up, sorry about that. But the last thing over here on the wall is this pheasant. And I, it is my pheasant actually. I named him Dakota because I actually shot this pheasant in South Dakota. Um, we went pheasant hunting, when was that? It was before, no, we were married. So I think it was maybe like four or five years ago, probably five years ago that we went on that trip. But anyways, he's just like perched on a little deer antler and I love it. And actually like it goes with the whole like kind of boho vibe in here. So yes, that is my bird, Dakota. <laughs> my wall. So the last thing that I will share with you is that I have this little basket under here and there I'm gonna maybe figure out a better way for this, but right now I just have this like belly basket from Ikea under here with all of my like cords stuffed in it <laughs> so it doesn't look bad because there was a lot of loose cords all under my desk and so I just sort of stuffed them in there and you don't even really notice the basket but it kind of like hides all of the cords so I am so happy with my office space and that I even have this space like I said since we don't have a designated office in this house it's so nice that there was space in our room to be able to set this up so that I had a really nice space to sit and work and be productive and build my dreams, you know? <laughs> so I hope this inspired you to get your office space or your workspace really feeling like what you would love to be in, like having a really nice vibe, um, getting it set up well. Honestly, I did not spend a lot of money on this space at all. A lot of it I already had, but my point is is that you can absolutely take what a lot of the things that you already have and just sort of rearrange or go to Home Goods, Target, find some really great things, things that just make you happy and would create a space that you want to sit in and you want to work in and be productive. I would encourage you for this new year to set up your space nicely so that you can be the most productive, you can chase your dreams and feel really good about your day and your productivity level. You know, I really think it does make a difference. Hopefully this inspired you. Like I said, I will link everything down below in the description, um, as much stuff as I can of where I got it so that you can find those items if you do want to check them out for yourself. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. You can ride all the blue. I wanna do what you want to. We can leave and run away.